Hello again viewers and welcome to my next overview for Beast Wars Transformers. But this episode, Beast Wars Part 2. I forgot to change shirts by the way. Continuity! To start off, Dinobot is standing in the way of the Maximals uh, on a stone bridge in between them and the Maximal base, challenging Optimus to leadership. Uh, you know, dual, it's, a, it's a, dual, a duel to the death for leadership, although Optimus is refusing at this point. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so it's not going well. Well, Dinobot inadvertently saved Optimus from uh, slipping because winning in, a, in that kind of way would lack in honour. So, obviously, this Dinobot has a strong sense of honour. <laughs> so, I think there is this sort of mutual respect between the two slightly growing here, even though they're fighting at this point. Of course, um... An attack from the nearby Predacons uh, causes a load of stray missiles, which Optimus saved Dinobot from, um, to miss, comp miss them completely and um, fly into a nearby mountain, which explodes on impact and reveals a, a large cache of Energon crystals. So, of course, the Predacons make their way there with the Maxwells in pursuit. Of course, Rat Trap is none too happy about chopper face tagging along. Uh, during the pursuit in the night, um, uh, Rhinox here um, notices um, down below a nearby um, circle of standing stones. Although this isn't, planet isn't confirmed to be Earth, this uh, can't possibly be Stonehenge obviously, so whoever built them aren't obviously humans, nor, the, nor did the Maximals and Predacons make it. So who made the standing stones? Of course, um, as we all as we, as we all know at this point, now, um, there slow there begins to um, be a little bit of rivalry slowly uh, slowly building up between Dinobot and Rat Trap, and this um, um, of course Rat Trap doesn't really trust Dinobot at this point, and that distrust is heightened when Dinobot almost uh, accidentally flattens Rhinox uh, following a battle against Waspinator and the. Um, the uh, treacherous air by the pterosaur. So, yeah, <laughs> he, Rat Trap really doesn't trust Predacon. Eventually, both factions reach the um, the mountain with all the energon. Of course, um, uh, as confirmed by Tarantulas, they have uh, the um, spider. By the way, uh, they have to um, remain in beast mode at all times. Otherwise, the energon buildup is going to paralyze them in mere seconds or even a millisecond. So they have to battle for the Energon in their beast modes. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> even in their beast modes, the, uh, beast, the, the fight is pretty epic. Of course, um, Megatron attempts uh, a little gamble by uh, sa um, sacrificing, himself, like, sacrificing himself to destroy Optimus by transforming into robot mode and firing a missile. But Dinobot gets in the way and knocks the missile out of the way, saving Optimus. And uh, of course, the missile instead impacts against the Energon, and um, both factions have to flee as the Energon explodes, taking Megatron with it. But of course, he'll be back. Um, of course, this isn't an act. Uh, Dinobot confirms this, isn't, this wasn't an act of loyalty. He just owed Optimus a life debt, you know, because uh, he saved his life before. Now they're nearly evening, uh, even. And um, thus, on this mysterious alien world, the Beast Wars have begun. Hope you enjoy this episode when you see it, if you haven't already. Coming next, The Web.